Genetic engineering has many applications, such as creating drugs to fight infections and producing proteins to treat several illness. Insulin is a good example of it. Insulin is a protein that controls the sugar level in the blood. Nowadays, bacteria produces it for diabetic people through the process called transformation. Only bacteria can do this. Transformation consists in altering the genetic information of an organism by taking specific genes from one organism and introducing them into another. The vehicle of transportation is called plasmid. This is a vector, a circular, circular segment of DNA that is cut by a restriction enzyme. It cuts where the tata boxes are at the beginning and at the end of each gene. Tata boxes are cut in half, creating sticky ends where insulin resistant to our antibiotics and instruction genes will attach. When we introduce the plasmid into the bacteria, first we have to heat them up and then cool them down. So the cell wall cracks just enough for the plasmid to get in. Once the plasmid is placed inside the cell, it gives the bacteria the capacity of creating insulin. Not every cell will have the plasmid inside. The process of selecting the ones that do is called screening. Since the plasmid also contains the antibiotic resistance gene, the bacteria that has it will survive when we pour antibiotic over them, and the others will die.